There is no wall, he said. Who? The cool Sam with the corny side car. They see me rolling, they hate it. The co-founder of non-profit OpenAI. Oh, no, no, no. For-profit. ChatGPT maker alluded to scaling discussion of large language models. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, because let's face it, not everyone lives and breathes LLMs. There's been a lot of buzz lately. The idea that LLMs get smarter and better with more data and compute is now being called into question. What? Ilya Sutskiva, co-founder of OpenAI and now Safe Super Intelligence, SSI, says scaling pre-training, that is teaching AI with massive data, has peaked. You know Sutskiva, don't you? One of the key figures behind ChatGPT who went silent for months during Altman's ousting from the company last year and then quit and then started his company that raised $1 billion? Yes, that rich researcher now emphasizes a shift in the approach, saying that the 2010s were about scaling. Now it's about discovery and scaling the right things. So wait, bigger is not always better? No, God! All right, so what does all this mean? Like how some of us peaked in college, is ChatGPT about to hit the big L board? Has it finally hit a wall? Not Rahul Dravid, ha! <laughs> wall or not, the hottest AI company in the world will never get there. Not for now. LLMs is just a type of AI model, but that's not the only one. You have various types of learning methods to scale AI models. You have reinforced learning, reinforced learning with human feedback, supervised learning, and so many more. It's just that LLM became a household name with ChatGPT. If you look at OpenAI's model, O1, it's trained with reinforcement learning to perform complex tasks. It thinks before it answers, like humans. Not all humans though. Example, my producer. He doesn't think before speaking. I think he doesn't think at all. That's why I don't want to do your videos. With the amount of AI research and developments happening, any hindrance in its scaling seems unlikely. So you want to make your AI smart, really smart, very, very smart. But why? Where are you headed? AGI. Something that nobody really knows exactly what it is, but everyone seems to be an expert on it when it comes to talking about it. Exhibit A. Have either of you guys ever studied quantum physics? Only to make conversation. AGI or artificial general intelligence can be termed as this next level of AI capability that can master any task a human can. Basically, we don't know what that means for the world, except that it is pretty crazy to imagine. And you're the shepherd and you take care of your flock of cars. Just so you know, AGI was the goal of OpenAI right from the beginning. And if you're wondering when are we going to achieve it? Well, it depends on what the AI company's marketing plans are. I'm just kidding. It depends on what they have been smoking. God, what is wrong with me? Personally, I'm kind of tired of AGI deadlines. We all have written extensively about it whenever any tech leader or expert utters AGI. It's coming in 10 years, 5 years, 2 years, and now it's next year. That's what Sam believes. What are you excited about in 2025? What's to come? AGI? Yeah. Uh, excited for that. Okay, Sam, can't wait. Let's make one thing clear. Whether you hit a wall, fall into a ditch, or AGI is going to kill you, regardless of what developments occur, one person and one company will always come out on top. Wow, it's so great to be here. Well, thank you for watching my reaction video. I'm Mandana Nayak, your AI Roaster. Think AI, think AIM. <laughs>